uh, lined up there. Those represent different distances. And you know, this is panning. This is actually we have a virtual camera that's uh, you know kind of flying up over this scene. Uh, this is over the Embarcadero in San Francisco, and. You can actually see, you can see people walking across, you can see cars, you can see all this stuff in incredible levels of detail to the point of where you can even make it out by eye. And, um, you know, this is a scene over, over in London at Buckingham Palace, uh, just to give you a quick snapshot. But again, you know, this is all the raw LiDAR data, you know, coming from, the, you know, these, these vehicles. So, uh, that being said, you know, what we achieved, you know, quantitatively is up to about like 50 times higher resolution, 10 times farther range than some of these best performing systems out there. And for the first time, you know, you can accurately see not just some objects some of the time, but all objects all the time. And deliver the necessary level of performance is required to solve the rest of those 10 nines and actually make autonomous vehicles get to the point where they can be safer than humans and get to the point where they can be realistically deployed beyond just putting together a cool, you know, demo of something and get to it where, you know, when you start driving millions of miles, you can demonstrate that safer than human level performance. And this is really the first major step in getting there and finally what's allowing, uh, you know, our customers to be able to, like I said, achieve that, that step function in performance is gonna be required to solve this problem, period. So, uh, with that, you know, we've really had to take, a, you know, with a new approach at this, um, from a scalability standpoint, you had to take that hugely into account because at the end of the day, if you have great technology but you can only make one of them, uh, that doesn't mean anything for the auto industry. So, uh, at its core, with this design, what's cool is that rather than having to use some huge array of like 64 lasers and 64 receivers to achieve an image or even a subpar quality image, this whole LiDAR architecture and this system only uses a single laser and single receiver to, that scans over the field of view really, really fast at a different wavelength of light. Um, and, you know, we had to really spend like five years designing the core components behind this to be able to create such an elegant architecture that could achieve this, like I said, orders of magnitude better performance at the end of the day.